We've heard the term ground penetrating radar a lot lately as indigenous communities across the country continue to undertake the painful work of looking for unmarked graves. GPR is a critical tool in locating these sites, but deploying it correctly and understanding the data can be difficult. To help with the search, a Queen's University professor has started an initiative offering these technical services to indigenous communities for free. We thought we can use this expertise now for a good cause in order to help and assist uh, recovering this uh, tragic uh, issue. Geophysics professor Alexander Braun created Geophysics for Truth about a month ago when news broke of the 215 children whose bodies were found at the site of a former residential school in Kamloops, BC. They officially launched their website this past week. There are now more than 50 volunteers across Canada who are ready and willing to offer their skills in the ongoing search. Most of them are professional geophysicists licensed to do what we do. GPR is a complex technology that can cost thousands of dollars to start. It involves rolling an antenna on wheels over the span of a selected site. Electromagnetic waves are emitted into the ground and it's up to the experts to interpret what bounces back. While the radar cannot detect human bones, they're too small, it can detect disturbances in the soil. We're very good at this. Um, if it's done at the highest standards, and that's that's our our motto to, do, to uh, only use the highest standards because we cannot afford to make mistakes. We cannot afford to say there is an unmarked grave here and then someone um, tests that and then there is none. In this situation, it would, you know, it takes an emotional toll on the communities that you're- That's right, to help. rather than an economic toll. All the work done through the initiative is confidential. Braun says they've already received multiple requests for assistance, but they will never identify which indigenous communities they're working with. An important aspect, he says, is the trust that's placed with them on such a sensitive issue. All this is part of the larger working group on unmarked graves headed by the Canadian Archaeological Association. To learn more about Professor Braun's initiative, you can head to geophysicsfortruth.org. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.